Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Olivia Queen. If you're new, and if you're not, thank you so much for coming into my content. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Okay, guys, so today's video is a little bit different than my usual. I'm doing a little DIY craft vlog. Um, I'm about to change up the decor in my bedroom. Just the decor, not the furniture or anything like that, just brightening up the place basically. And obviously when redecorating, saving money is like the goal. So I saw this little TikTok hack of these DIY vases, just to add a little accent to the room. So basically in the TikTok, um, they're just these little clear vases from the Dollar Tree that you mix with paint and baking powder. Kind of give it that like clay aesthetic of like an old timey kind of vase. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. Um, and also I have another little project, which is my leaning ladder, like a slanted ladder shelf. So the thing with that, y'all, I wholeheartedly wanted to build it. Like I really, really, I watched a bunch of videos. It was like $20 or less, just make your leaning shelf. And girl, I just like, look it up. Like you have to, it is simple, but you have to go to Home Depot and then you have to go get like the sizes of wood cut and like you know the certain measurements and then everybody was like you needed a wheel saw cutter thing and it was just a lot. It was just a lot. So I went to Amazon <laughs> and saw found the leaning shelf I wanted. I'm gonna have to paint it white though. It's in a like wood color and uh, it's a little smaller than I would have built than buying it but girl they're not cheap okay so that gonna be the part two of this project but the first one like I said is going to be these vases so yeah I just grabbed these from the Dollar Tree and in the TikTok she also used baking powder from Dollar Tree but I don't know why I couldn't find it in mine luckily I was going grocery shopping afterwards and just picked it up from the grocery store but you're apparently supposed to be able to find baking powder in the Dollar Tree as well and then I went to Michael's and so she had like this pompous stuff. Y'all, my Michael's wiped through, okay? I got this little like fluffy mist <laughs> and then these like fake flowers because I'm doing it like white. The paint color is um, vintage white. So I'm going for that look. And then I picked up a paintbrush. But y'all, the story behind this I was so mad. So I go in there, everything's ran through. I'm like, okay, I'll settle for this stuff. And then I go into the line and the girl who's literally in front of me in line in Michaels has like seven bushels of the pompous, the faux pompous grass, what I came there looking for, like the wispy, nice looking grass. And she literally had all the tan and like brownish, goldish colors. And when I saw it, I was just thinking I missed it. So I was like, oh, let me just add like, excuse me, where did you find that? She was like, oh, in the back. But I just came from the back. So I was like, oh, is there any left? And she was like, no. <laughs> and what really made me mad, because okay, obviously like as soon as you lose, she was there first, whatever, even though, she, you know, she had way too many. But her, she had a friend with her. And what made me mad is while I was standing in line, the friend literally was like, these don't even go with your colors to her. And she was just like, I mean, it's a little off, but you know, I, I really wanted to add like gold. Um, I was actually really upset about it, <laughs> but it's fine. Um, we're just gonna do it with these, make our little arrangements. But yeah, let's um, get started. So I have a paper plate, so that I'm gonna mix it on. I'll pull you guys in closer, and then I'm just doing this on a little torn up plastic um, trash bag. Messy. Oh, and also I'm gonna put on a t-shirt that I feel more comfortable messing up, so BRB. Okay, y'all, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. I just moved to a lower chair. I look like I'm probably on my knees or something, but um, so we have our paint. We're just gonna pop that open. I'm excited to make these because I feel like they're just gonna add a certain something. So I really don't think I'm gonna need that much. I just put, this should be a jib. That, well I'm gonna have to do a, you know what, let me have a lot more. I'm gonna have to do a few coats. Okay, and then our baking powder. And the girl in the video, I'm pretty sure she was like, make sure it's powder, not soda. 
Okay. We just wanted to have that granny look. Okay. Okay. Probably can't really tell, but it's turning into this like clayish looking vibe. Oh, so I didn't even say the shape. So I got just this straight up cylinder and I got this one that's a little more round. I don't know which ones I'm gonna prefer. And I have, we have two nightstands. That's where I'm probably gonna put them, but then also I have to put one on the um, shelf that I'm making as well, so. All right. Okay, wait, this is drying up, I think. I put way too much baking powder. Oh no, this is not the right consistency. I do not believe. Oh, and another tip she gave, I realized I just wasn't doing that, was like the brush strokes need to look kind of uneven, so it has that clay look. I'm not gonna paint the insides. I don't really feel like I need to. I think she did, but hers were black, so maybe, well, no, that would be the opposite, right? If they were black, I feel like you wouldn't need to paint the inside. I think it's gonna be fine. I'm not gonna paint the inside. Okay, so what I'm gonna say about the consistency is I think I put too much baking powder, however, it made it like thicker in a way I feel like I don't really need another coat. So, next shape. I'm gonna add a little paint. Y'all, I'm sorry, I probably feel like I'm looking so gross doing this. <laughs> take a hand wash break. <laughs> back and I'm already started on the third one because I forgot that I was simultaneously supposed to be making a reels slash TikTok. Whoops. <laughs> so I had to get some footage for that but we are back and we are finishing up our third vase. My excellent artist painter boyfriend just told me why didn't I put my hand in this? and paint it this way. <sighs> wow, I knew I should have watched the TikTok. Maybe she did it like this in the TikTok too. <sighs> Love that for me. <laughs> then apparently the trick to not get it all over your wrist is to put a grocery bag inside of it. I mean, yeah, on your wrist first and then you paint. Love that for me. I mean, <laughs> I already did. Yep. I'm so pissed. <laughs> so pissed.
Okay, y'all, I'm definitely gonna have to go in with a second coat. <laughs> but this is what they look like right now. Um, yeah, it's not an option. <laughs> I have to go back in, it's way too patchy. But we are going to do that and then move on to part two of our DIYs. Okay guys, so I just finished putting on the second coat of paint for the bases. They definitely look better, they're not as see-through. Um, I'm gonna let those dry and then I'm also gonna trim these little things that I got down as well because the base literally comes to like here. <laughs> so we're gonna cut these down and then move on to part two. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> you can move on to part two, which is putting together the leaning shelf. So. Like I said, I really wanted to um, do it myself, but girl, wasn't happening. So I got it um, on Amazon. Almost all the reviews said easy to assemble, so hopefully, like this is a first impression me opening this right now because I don't know how many pieces, I don't know how long it's gonna take, hopefully not that long. <laughs> okay, y'all, this is the inside of the box. Excuse my lighting. But yeah, um, I just see a couple wood pieces you see the holes all the screwing oh it seems pretty easy and then this is the okay guys so i decided i'm just gonna go ahead and start um putting it together so it comes with a bag of the hardware that you're gonna need and obviously the instructions and it's pretty straightforward you're literally just putting the two long ones on the side and then the shelves and so Pretty simple. All right, I'll probably just put you guys in speed mode. I keep forgetting to do my TikToks. Okay, but yeah, let's get started. Wait, I'm doing it upside down again, right? It's supposed to be... <laughs> this isn't making sense, Josh. It definitely feels like a cheaper <laughs> type of wood. Once I get it painted, I think it'll be cute. Um, but yeah, it's pretty small. Like I said, it's just like a little accent for me to have. In my side of the room, I do the full room decoration. I mean, redecorating. It just comes up to right above my boobs. Okay guys, so I'm gonna finish painting this and I'm obviously gonna run out of paint, so I'm probably gonna need to go to the store tomorrow and get some more. Can't decide I might switch to spray paint because I just feel like this would be 110% easier. Um, but yeah, so I will catch you in this next clip. <laughs> okay guys, so it is, I honestly think it's three days later. <laughs> But so the day after you saw me build it, I went to Walmart and got white spray paint for it. And then I think yesterday it rained, so that's why I just hadn't done it yet. But today we are going to finish painting it. Um, 
So this is the spray paint I got. Also, sorry I'm looking so dry. I was not about to put makeup on just to do this. So yeah, um, this is the paint I got. It was like $3. Um, I just have some tarp. My boyfriend does art, so he just had a, a random tarp already. And um, I'm gonna go outside, outside to do it because it's spray paint. And yeah, I'll take you out there. I just need to grab my tripod. In an update, this is what the vases are looking like now. They're completely dry. If you get up on it, you see how it kind of looks like clay and kind of like old with the strokes. That's exactly what I was going for. I just trimmed these down a little bit and then stuck them in there. I'm obviously gonna give you a more detailed view when, um, at the end when my shelf is done, but just wanted to show you. It's doing really well on the TikTok I uploaded for it, so follow me on there. But yeah. Okay guys, so I'm out here. I didn't feel like going in grass. So that's why I have the tarp. Um, Cause I'm in concrete still, but. <laughs> also, I'm just like really admiring my parking garage right now. And I need to take more pictures out here. Okay y'all, so I ran into spray paint. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't think that would be a possibility. Definitely thought I had, I definitely thought I had more than enough, but you can tell literally obviously under the whole bottom half is still wood. And then I got the sides and like the top of the first two. Yeah, it's just splotchy. Nope, well, no. So I don't know if I should get another spray paint or like just get paint and paint it because this is not it's splotchy <sighs> okay yeah so it's dried down and uh, it's not in that lighting that I was in outside so you can tell it okay the coverage is better than I thought I guess um but I just I just it needs another coat and I don't know if I just like want to go in and touch up with like paint and a paintbrush or I just need to go ahead and get another thing of um, spray paint and just do another round but yeah I mean I see the vision it'll be cute and everything yeah it'll be cute but so far this is it so it looks like we're gonna have to do one more coat and then we'll be able to finally reveal the final okay guys so it is officially two more days later um yesterday i just went and grabbed another white spray paint and did the same thing over again so there was really no point of filming but we have our finished complete look y'all so here are our faces um if you get up on it you can see that it kind of has like that clay like effect um and that is from the baking powder and our strokes but yeah, so then I just put these from Michael's in here with these little white roses. These are called bunny ears. And I have these little white flowers. So I really, really love the vases. Um, and here is how our white turned out. Y'all, I'm not going to lie to you. The back is splotchy still. I didn't really care. <laughs> Some of it's still wooden colored. Um, but I'm going to just go ahead and say this is pretty cheap. This, yeah, I mean, I just feel like... I honestly don't mind it for like the convenience of just me ordering an Amazon and getting it in two days versus me having to go to Home Depot and do like all those specific measurements and pieces and stuff. So for me, it's fine. But yeah, I just wouldn't suggest putting too heavy of items on here. But for the most part, I think she's cute. The sliding's better this way. But yeah, really, really love the vases. And I'll also have the um, Amazon link in the description below if you guys want that as well. And this is cute. I just threw some stuff up on here. This is not the setup. This is even where it's going. It's going in my bedroom. So if you want to see the final 
of like how I have it decorated for where it's actually going in my room, then make sure you subscribe because I will be doing a full on um, bedroom decor, like switch up type of situation. So yeah, so like I said, this is it. Thank you for spending the week with me basically getting all this done. But I love it. I think it turned out super cute. Um, and yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you guys in my next one. Bye.